I'm Chrissy, and I'm Catherine, and we are traveling gleefully, and we are here in Dublin. So we are in Dublin only for like one day at the moment, and then another day in a couple of weeks. <laughs> so this video will, video will be both times, two days over two weeks. Yeah. Um, but we are really excited to be here. We're spending, obviously, the time in between that also in Ireland. Um, we wanted to do more, but Dublin is not Crazy cheap. Um, but that's okay. We are excited to be here. We're going to do a lot of free stuff around the city today. Um, we're currently in Temple Bar, which, unlike what we thought, is not actually a bar. Yeah, it's, it's an area yeah. that also has a bar called yeah. the Temple Bar. Um, but it's really cool. You can see behind us. It's a super popular area. Um, but yeah, that's that's the bar there. Um, but it's such a nice area. The actual bar is so cute. Um, and the there's a lot of shops and stuff around, so we're gonna go explore. I've now wandered over to Trinity College, which is like a very famous college um, here in Dublin. I think our host said it's like 16th century? 1600s. 1600s? Like 17th century, but is that the right way? Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, and we're just going to wander around. I know you can do paid tours, but I think we're just going to wander around the grounds. Um, but it looks very cool, very old. Yeah. And there's lots of people around. wandering around Dublin we actually went into a bookstore for a quick browse that turned into like a bit over an hour yeah it we was didn't really realize cool. it was a three level bookstore and we didn't realize when we went in um so that's eaten up a good part of our day um but it was very cool like she'll, shop. Put, she'll put the name on the screen yes I didn't <laughs> film anything in there because we didn't exp we were like we'll just quickly pop also, in so it's just a bookstore you know what yeah. those look like um, but it was it was really nice. Um, but now we are in St Stephen's Green, mm -hmm. I believe it's called. Yeah, which is just like a little park in the city. It's so nice. It's so nice, and like similar to when we were in Scotland, like it's such a nice day. So like everyone's out, like yeah. people are picnicking everywhere. It's really cool. It's so nice. There's like ducklings and like cygnets and stuff around. It's very cute. Yeah. We're just like literally in a grocery store buying some groceries yeah. and we are standing on top of the like excavation of a building from 1070 yeah. AD in a little in a little that's crazy that like they've just put the like a glass for it I'll show you in a second um but they, they think that, like it's too small to have been a house it was probably like a storage room yeah but it just is like an underneath the supermarket that's we did, wild we did not me. expect to see like historical yeah. artifacts in this supermarket <laughs> so this is another one it's like the remains underneath the stage of a theater was where like actors would have like gone down trap doors and stuff just from the 1700s, so a bit like not as old as the other one. But Which like is in the little. There are the checkouts. And is doing an grocery shopping. Crazy. <laughs> Something we should have said this morning, but then like forgot is that we're actually here at the very start of Pride Month. Um, which is very fun because Dublin is quite rainbow. Like, yeah. A lot of shops have like rainbows and stuff up. We saw a boots earlier that was like decorated with rainbows, so yeah, it's like very cool. chain stores are sort of changing. I saw a rainbow Nando's earlier. <laughs> yeah, it'll be great. We're excited to find like all the other rainbows around. We're not really like doing any pride events while we're in Ireland. We're saving that for a bit later in the UK. Um, but it's still fun being somewhere that's kind of LGBT friendly during Pride Month. at our 
last stop for the day, which is Dublin Castle. Which you can clearly see part of behind yeah, us. But it's, it's actually, cool. it's quite a big, like, it is. complex of, like, buildings yeah, it's that were part large. of the castle. Um, we <laughs> just had a quick Google and we found out that it was, like, built in 1204 um, as a spot for the British... The British's... I the Irish Irish's representative, representative of Britain. Of Britain. <laughs> yeah. So it was under, it was like British, um, built for one of the kings of England um, until 1922. So for like 700 years, yeah. England owned this castle and now it's Irish again. Yeah. And it's very cool. Like you can obviously see the part behind us and there's like, we'll film them in a second, but there's other buildings around. It was pretty much entirely intact in, until the 1600s when it burnt down yeah, partially. Classic. Um, which pretty much every European city we've been to so far Something's in their museum, <laughs> they've been like, this was like great until it burned down in like the 16 or 1700s. Literally almost everything. It's like guaranteed. Yeah. It's like, it was destroyed by a fire. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but we're gonna have a look around the castle. It closes in like half an hour, so we don't have too long. Uh, but we're just gonna wander around. Yeah. Update, this is not part of the original castle. It's actually an art gallery now, and it was built in like the 1800s. Yeah, but it was originally built when it was still like functioning as a castle, and it was built to house coaches and horses. Yeah. Um, so it is like old and part of the castle, but not like an original part from the 1200s. But Which this... tracks, because we were looking at it, and we were like, it doesn't look 1200s architecture. No, but this, this is original castle. Yes. <laughs> we're gonna try to find our way in there now. We are now in the grounds of the castle, I guess. It's kind of it's a castle. It's kind of all the castle grounds, but we're in like the side of the yeah. actual castle. Um, but pretty much every building in here, they've all got like a little thing out the front with information. And the earliest one we found here is the 1600s. Yeah, it seems like a lot of it burnt down. I'm not sure actually what is like original 1200s castle, but yeah, it's still very interesting. Dublin Castle said gay pride, even though the wind isn't blowing but you know you can tell we are gonna like leave off Dublin for now I mean you'll see it in like three seconds yep. um, but we are actually heading to Donegal tomorrow and then we go to Galway and then we go to Cork and then we come back to Dublin but we're just gonna put all of Dublin in one video yep. um, so the next time you see us it will actually be two weeks from now wow. and we'll have seen a lot more of Ireland um, but we'll finish off our Dublin video then, so we will see you in a second. Oh my gosh, see you in two weeks. And we're back. <laughs> Just like that, we are back in Dublin. We had a interesting 10 days in the rest of Ireland, which you will see next week if you watch that vlog. Yeah, um, some was good, some was bad. <laughs> we, we are happy to be back in Dublin. Yeah. It's... Except we've come on a day trip. Yeah, we're actually out in Hoth. Um, which is about half an hour on the train from Dublin. Um, and it's just this cute little seaside town, as you can see behind us. Um, and there are seals here, there are. which is so fun. We've, there's one in the harbour um, that I filmed that I'll pop in. And then like also there's just ones like all around, all out that you can, like, you can only just see the top of their head um, like as they're swimming. So they're kind of hard to film, but they're very cool. They are very cool. We are excited to kind of spend the day out here. We've, we realized like we kind of managed to see most of Dublin in the like last day, yeah. the day that you would have just seen, which yeah. was a couple of weeks ago. Um, so we really didn't have that much left to do in our um, Airbnb host suggested we come out here and it was a good suggestion. Yeah, it's really nice. It's very nice. walking back down to where the seal was and now there's two of them. They're so getting started. fed. Ah! So we just walked out um, along the very long pier to yeah, the lighthouse, the lighthouse um, which was such a nice walk. Um, we're sort of like almost directly across from where we're watching the seals before but just 
a bit further out, which is cool. It's just a really lovely walk. Honestly, if you're in Dublin for any more than like a day, come out here. Yeah. It's also so cheap. It was like five euros each return. Yeah. And it's also like you could definitely come for like half a day. Yeah. You could come in the morning, grab lunch and go home or Yeah, it probably took like half an hour. Yeah. On the train to get out here. And there's not a whole lot to do, but it's just really nice. It's really peaceful. It is really like, peaceful. And like nice to get out of the city. It's very different to Dublin. Yeah. So it's nice to sort of get both. So we just had a very nice fish and chip slash chicken and chip lunch. We're at the turn this way. Oh yeah. Um, it's a tower, but it's part of the Hurdy Gurdy Vintage Radio Museum. <laughs> yep. I don't know what that is or why it's called Hurdy Gurdy, um, but it's on this hill which overlooks Hoof. Yeah, so this is kind of the marina down here. And then, um, where are we? This, we walked out to both of these endpoints um, at different points today. It's really cool. It is. And like, can't really see the town. The town's kind of like behind this hill. Yeah. It's really nice up here. It's so nice. Like, I know we've already said this, but like, definitely recommend this as a little day yeah. trip from Dublin. And you can see the seals, which was fun. It's such a nice place to spend like a few hours. It is. All right, we are back in our little Airbnb in this very cute courtyard. I know, it's so nice. Um, but we are going to finish off our Dublin vlog here. I feel like Dublin has been weird. Oh yeah, I think we've discovered that we haven't really enjoyed the town, like the cities of Ireland that much. They're just like cities. Yeah, but we noticed the, that like Dublin and Cork, we were like, it's just a city. Mm, but the like little towns have been really nice and like the landscape is amazing. So we really enjoyed Hooth. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we really enjoyed that. Um, so I think that was a really good way to spend our last day in Ireland yeah yeah we really like, like all the landscapes are so beautiful mm. and so like when you're out in a little town you can see so much more yeah but we head back to the to the UK tomorrow um back to the south of England which is gonna be very exciting it is we've done the north we've done Ireland we've done Northern Ireland we've done Scotland yep now we're so, ready to do southern England <laughs> yes so thank you for watching. Um, give us a like and a subscribe and check out any of our other travel vlogs if you would like to. And follow us along on Instagram to see where we currently are. Yeah. But we hope you've enjoyed the Dublin video. Yes. And we hope you enjoy the Donegal Galway Cork one next week. You yes. can see the good and the bad. <laughs> yes. And then we are off to the UK. We will next film then, but you'll have another island video to enjoy first. But we'll see you in the UK in two weeks. <laughs> Bye! Bye.